What's up, lifelong learners? It's your boy, Mr. Hang. Welcome back to another video. And uh, your boy got sent this thing from Camelo for review. So thank you, Camelo, for sending this for uh, review. And uh, since 2006, I've been teaching high school kids how to transform their lives through education. So consider subscribing and join the mission to make the hood all good. <laughs> this thing is meant to be clamped to a table. So here's the B-roll of me coming back home from vacation with my family and uh, we were in Mojave eating dinner. I enjoyed it, but the only problem was it is a little bit too tall, okay? It, it's good, I'm not saying it's bad, it's good. But this part right here, it's just a little bit too long. And when I'm sitting there, and I actually tested with my students too, they said, yeah, Mr. Hang, it's a little bit too tall. If, if I were to put a camera on this, it'll be shooting my forehead instead of, like not shooting, but recording my forehead instead of like getting my face, you know? So for Camelo to make this better, just make this a little bit shorter, maybe instead of 17 inch, maybe 13, 14 or 15 inch. Because, you know, think of short people who are shorter than me, right? They're gonna be looking at it like, whoa, why is it like so high, <laughs> you know? So lower it a little bit and we can always adjust the height. Now, that was a con, but this is the good part. This thing is so tall, like I can literally have it stretch out so much that I can capture myself if I were to clamp this onto a table, I can capture myself if I'm like a really tall person. So that's a pro and a con um, if you want to think of it that way. The next thing I want to talk about here is uh, the head part. This head part right here, it's good for the price, but I personally prefer not the type that you screw on like this, Okay, but the type that you have, um, and I'll show a little B-roll here of me twisting. That type of twist lock that can be right here, okay, that would help a lot by making this a little bit easier because let's say if you're mounting like a big camera, right, and then you're trying to spin the camera on top of this, well, that's not safe. So I would hope that you consider changing this ball head to a different style ball head where you twist and then the screw just twists from underneath the camera and then lock the camera in place that way. So that way you can adjust your camera to face you and then you just twist lock instead of twisting the camera over and over again and then loosening this part and twisting it that way. So I think that that would be a better option than this ball head. The next part is this part right here. It's good, it clamps really strong. It doesn't move, right? Like if I'm, if I'm clamped here real good, and I try to move this and I try to pull it up and down. See, I can't really pull it up and down. It's good, it's solid. If it's on a table, it's even better. But my only problem with this is that like, this just feels a little short. Ch check out the B-roll here. Uh, because I was hoping to use this on my teacher table so that I can put like uh, uh, my action cam to do a widescreen and then turn to me as a teacher and then turn to my students when I'm doing like zoom conference calls with guest speakers and stuff like that so that they can see my students and myself i can just spin the camera back and forth like this this was not wide enough so check out the again check out the b-roll here uh i would hope that this be a little thicker so to save you money from producing this you can make this a little shorter but this a little bit thicker or wider so that way we can clamp onto more places and this can be adjusted taller easily but it cannot be adjusted shorter and then the ball head just please if you can switch it up i know it might cost a little bit more to do it but it would make the user experience more fun and easy to use so those are my um pros and cons of this thing that was sent to me for review by camelo again thank you so much uh, link is in the description down below if you want to support my classroom and i'm gonna keep it short like that and uh Say goodbye. Y'all know how we say goodbye. For those of you who are returning, get your hands ready. For those of you who are new to the channel, get your hands ready and just follow along with rock, paper, peace. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces. <laughs>